Hey everyone, Sal here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be sharing with you the new fragrances from Mugler, which I have recently added to my perfume collection. So uh, I can't remember which ones I bought first. Um, I'm just going to start with like, they're, they're in no particular order, basically. I can't remember which one I bought first. Um, so anyway, first up is uh, the original Alien Eau de Parfum. Now, um, if you've been following my channel for a while now, you may be thinking, why have you bought the original Alien Eau de Parfum? Uh, when I've previously said, you know, that I wasn't a fan of it and it was too strong and too, like, heavy and warm and all of that. Um, well, I have actually grown accustomed to this fragrance and now I absolutely adore it. Um, it's very strange. Basically, what I think has happened, because I liked the smell of this, I'd tried a tester of this one before and I, I knew I liked the smell, but it was just a bit too much for me. So what I did is I bought the um, Eau de Toilette version, which I absolutely love. So I have like the 60ml, I think, of the Eau de Toilette, which I bought last month, I think, and I've been wearing that one a lot. And then I found myself really craving it more and more and I wanted something, like I just wanted more of that. And then I thought, hang on a minute, like I'll try the Eau de Parfum one again. And then once I tried it again, after having really enjoyed the Eau de Toilette, I suddenly realized how much I actually love this one. <laughs> so it's a little bit strange, I guess maybe, um, you know, the Eau de Toilette perhaps um, got me used to it, if you know what I mean, because it's like not as intense. And then once I realised how much I loved it, I thought, you know, I just want, I want the the original Eau de Parfum as well, because I, I love it a lot, basically. Um, so this one is just amazing. It's kind of uh, an intense, like, jasmine, ambery, woody kind of fragrance. The thing I love about this one, you guys, is it just smells so womanly. Like, it smells so seductive and just badass and amazing and, like, powerful. And it just, it just makes me feel great. Like, I love wearing this one. It is so amazing. Particularly now that we're into the colder weather, I think um, this is just such a nice powerhouse kind of fragrance that it's just so perfect for the cold weather. Um, I think I'll probably be wearing this one, like, during the day to work like I don't really mind where I wear this one at the moment just because it is that nice cold kind of time of year at the moment um, and I just adore this one so much you guys like it's just <sighs> I think I've really discovered something quite special in this fragrance to be honest with you it's just so unique I've never ever discovered anything like this before alongside me discovering this fragrance I have actually just discovered how amazing the whole Mugler house actually is because um you know, for, for many, many years, I just never was that interested in it. Like, I actually remember trying Alien um, when I was a teenager, I think, and I really didn't like it. Um, years and years ago, I tried this and I was so put off by it. I was just so taken aback at how, like, weird it smelled, basically. And I never really gave the House of Mugler, like, a chance since then. Um, until now, that is. So I've, I've like, rediscovered this house. Um, I am absolutely loving it basically. I adore this fragrance. Um, it's so, so pretty. I love the bottle. It's so beautiful. It's like a little amethyst jewel. Um, and one thing I adore about these fragrances is the fact that you can just refill them. Um, it was in the Black Friday sale, so there was like money off this and it came in this gift set and it worked out. I'll show you what was in the gift set as well. So it's in this beautiful, beautiful alien gorgeous box, which I can use for like my little samples or something. And um, it turned out that because this was on offer, like the price of the, the gift set with all the stuff in it, it would have it worked out as the same price, like if you were just buying the 30 mil on its own. So you were basically getting all of the stuff for free. So yeah, also in the gift set, this is inside, you got like a perfume pen with the Alien Eau de Parfum. I've not used it yet, so it's not got anything like in the bristles, but it's like so handy to have this just to carry around in your bag. Um, if I was like going away somewhere or whatever, like it's just handy to have this. I think it's a really nice little um, addition in the gift. So it's the Alien Perfume Pen, um, seven mil or something like that. And then it also had like the body lotion which smells like alien, so you can like layer this with the with the perfume. Not that you really need to because the perfume is strong enough on its own, but if you just wanted like 
a complete alien overload <laughs> then you could have the body lotion and then the perfume as well so i'm really happy with this little set it was like a little gift to myself basically and it was like money off so like it was good value anyway like the gift set in itself and then it was money off for black friday so it was just a really good deal um and i absolutely love it oops i love it and i love this fragrance I'm so happy and even though it's a small bottle like you can refill it so I'm not even worried about running out um which is just amazing and I love the fact that this bottle isn't going to go to waste because I, I kind of hate waste so anyway it's nice that I get to keep this bottle and use it over and over again and just refill it so that's wonderful um so yeah that's the first fragrance from my haul that's the original Alien Eau de Parfum the next fragrance um, I want to show you that I got was one of the Aura fragrances. So it's the Aura Eau Sensuelle Eau de Parfum. Oh my goodness, the bottle looks so cool in the camera. It's like really, uh, what do you call it, opalescent, iridescent, something like that. It's so nice. I adore the bottle, it's so pretty. So this one was a blind buy. Um, I had literally never tried this one before. And at the time of purchasing this, I don't think I'd tried the original Aura either, but um, I remembered hearing that this was like a safer blind buy um, and I would totally agree. So this one is like not as crazy um, and polarizing as the original Aura. It's sweet, it's green, it's kind of fresh, but it's, but it's soft and sweet and feminine at the same time. It's just really, really nice. So it's kind of a sweet, like bubble gummy, musky, leafy, like green leafy with notes of almost like sweet bubble gum. Um, but it's not like too sweet. It's just a sweet kind of light feminine, beautiful kind of smell, this one here. And I absolutely adore it. Um, there's actually a review um, that I've watched on YouTube that basically more or less prompted me to order this one and that was the review by Lalada Beauty. It's just amazing. I'll link the video below actually if you want to check it out because she reviews um, this fragrance and it's just a really good review. Like she basically explained it really well and um, it gave me the confidence to just order it and I do think it's like a relatively safe blind buy. The only thing I would say, like, if you really do not like green notes, just be wary of this because obviously it's like quite a green fragrance. It's just a very kind of sweet, soft, pleasing, feminine kind of smell and I absolutely adore it. Um, it's just so beautiful with this bottle as well. I'm so happy with this one. Um, it's just so feminine and like flirty and beautiful. The longevity is like, okay, I wore this the other day. And funnily enough, I actually decided to layer this one with my cloud fragrance. Like I sprayed a bit of cloud and then when I smelt it, I kind of thought, oh, that smells, that's almost like reminding me of this fragrance. So I sprayed a little bit of this as well, like in different areas. And both of the smells, they kind of like intermingled really nicely. And I think it helped with maybe the longevity a little bit, the fact that I'd sprayed two different fragrances on. Um, but I could definitely smell this like all day. But I wouldn't say that it's like a super strong fragrance, but it's still really, really, really nice. So that is um, Mugler Aura Eau Sensuelle. And you guys, basically what happened is I was really, really enjoying Aura Eau Sensuelle. I was really, really enjoying it. And obviously the Black Friday sales were on and I kept seeing um, this beauty like in the sales and I was kind of like, oh my goodness. Um, so I went to the counter and I just briefly uh, sprayed it onto a bit of card. Like I didn't really test it on my skin or anything like that. Um, because I was almost going to blind buy this and um, so I just wanted to spray it on a card just to make sure that I liked the overall smell and um, at first I was kind of a bit like it took me a wee while to just understand the fragrance if you know what I mean because it is very very unusual so it took me a wee minute just to sort of understand what it was about um, but then after about half an hour of me smelling it I was absolutely hooked um, I absolutely love this fragrance, you guys. Like, I have absolutely found a complete gem here. Like, I've never found a fragrance like this and I'm absolutely smitten with this one, to be honest with you. Um, the bottle is absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't think, see, when you see it in photos and in videos and things, I don't think it actually does it any justice because when you see it in real life, it's like a piece of, it's like a sculpture, it's like a piece of art the faceted glass and the way that it just the light 
like if light is sh um, shining through this it just looks absolutely stunning so even just for the bottle I'm so so ecstatic to own this but the smell I have been absolutely loving it so this one I might just spray some make it my scent of the day or something this is just like so unusual so it's it's green but it's like thick and like it's thick sweet um creamy almost creamy in a very green with a, a kick of mint kind of way there's some really interesting unusual notes i can't really remember what they are i think there's some unusual plant kind of notes in here and in the base notes there's bourbon vanilla and um, really kind of woody like vanilla notes I think but basically they've done a really interesting thing here with this like they've combined notes that you just wouldn't even think to combine so you've got your green notes like interesting random kind of plants and then rich bourbon vanilla and they all just work together so amazingly in my opinion. Um, I love this one but I can see how it wouldn't be for everybody. Um, I really would not suggest um, to blind buy this. I really don't think it's a safe blind buy. It's definitely something that you need to try for yourself. Um, you should try it like on your skin if you can and just make sure that it works for you because it's just I, I can understand how this would really get on some people's nerves if you know what I mean. Um, I love this one as far as fragrances go this is like opened my eyes to a whole new like genre of fragrance if that makes sense like this one is just so interesting because um I almost like the fact that not everyone would like this um and if I'm feeling sort of a bit like I want <laughs> if I feel like I want to be left alone I would just spray this you know and then some people might smell it and think oh my gosh what is that you know and I almost kind of like that the fact that not everyone would like it and it's just a very weird smell like it's very very unusual and I just love that like if you're having an off day or or if I'm feeling a bit more out there or just something like that I just think it's such a fun fragrance to wear for that reason maybe that makes me a bit strange I don't know I adore it I think it's actually one of my favorite fragrances right now um, and I'll probably be doing a full review on this one on my channel like in the foreseeable future because I love it that much so like I really I don't know what all the notes are but I think I might look into that a bit more and then um do like a more in-depth review for you guys maybe even compare it to the Eau Sensuelle if like you're not sure which one to get or something like that um but I'm definitely going to be talking about this one more on my channel because I'm kind of enraptured by it right now to be honest so that is the uh, Mugler Aura the original Aura Eau de Parfum and um, the last one that I picked up was this one here, which um, I'm very, very torn about this one, you guys. Like, I love the bottle so much and I'm so happy that I own it just for the bottle. It's just so beautiful. And as I say, I'm really, really interested in the whole Mugler house now and I'm happy to own more. Like, I want to own more and more from this house because I'm just so intrigued by it. Um, so I'm happy to own, you know, one of their creations. I'm really interested in it and things like that. But um, this smell, I don't know if I actually like it yet, if, if you know what I mean. It's just very, very... So this one is the Angel Eau Crossier 2020. No, 2019. I can't remember. Oh my goodness. I think this one was the 2020 release, I think. Um, but this is the kind of blue and like red one. I know the one, the previous one was like all orange and this is like the one that came after that. So this is the one with um, fig, nectar, uh, magnolia, praline and vanilla and, and maybe patchouli. I can't quite remember, but there's like gourmand notes in here. And the star of the show, I suppose, is like the fig nectar and maybe even the magnolia as well. So it's just seriously syrupy and sweet. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. And I guess that's kind of something which caught me off guard a little bit. Just how, like, I think fig nectar is definitely one of the main things I can detect in this. It's very, like, thick, creamy, um, dense, uh, sweet. Like like a, a syrup or like a, like a nectar, basically. You know, the fig nectar. It's just so intense. I don't think I'll spray any of this just now, purely just because I have tried to wear this um, over the last few days and... I wouldn't say that I like really really enjoyed having it on if you know what I mean um I haven't like again I haven't decided I think what it is actually because I wore this um yesterday evening and 
initially, who was it that I saw? Paola Bianca actually did a post on Instagram about this and she said how it's like super intense at start and then during the dry down, like once it mellows out, it becomes much more balanced and I would 100% agree with her. Like, So basically in the dry down of this, I enjoy it more, um, but I don't know if I can... <laughs> like when you first spray it, it's, it's definitely... It's not going to be for everybody. It's like a very strange kind of smell. It's just very, very thick and like creamy, <sighs> sweet, and it's nice. It's it's nice, but I just don't know if I like it yet. Um, I'm still happy to own it. I think I was really intrigued by this one. I think it's quite an unusual, again, like an unusual kind of fragrance. How they've used your fig kind of fruit with your magnolia. And the really like gourmand notes that I suppose the angel is kind of well known for. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. I mean, I got this in the Black Friday sale as well, so I'm not too upset about the fact that I don't totally like love it. Um, but I would say this is definitely my least favourite from this haul, um, for sure. Yeah, like I definitely adore the other three, like I love them so, so much, but this one is kind of like it's okay with the possibility of me growing to like it, but I don't think that this is ever going to be a love for me. So that is um, Mugler Angel Eau Crossier 2020. So let me know in the comments what you think of uh, the Mugler house. Do you like their fragrances or are they just a bit too strange for you? <laughs> Uh, let me know. Let me know what your favourite one is, um, if you've tried any of the ones that I've mentioned in this video. Also, I would just like to say like a huge thank you to all of you guys. You've been so, so supportive and it just it always makes me smile when you guys leave your lovely comments. I love reading your comments. I love responding to you guys. And it's just, it really, you guys make my day. You really, really do. Um, we've also kind of just passed the 1000 subscriber mark, which like I'm just so ecstatic about. Like I really, when I started this channel, basically I was just kind of doing it as like a little outlet for me to be able to talk about my fragrances and things like that. Like I didn't know where it was going to go. I didn't have any sort of plan or idea. Um, and I've just been really pleasantly surprised, basically. You guys have just like been so nice and supportive and... Um, it's just so nice to chat to all of you guys and just it's really lovely. So thank you guys so so much for watching, thank you for your continued support and I will see you all very very soon. Take care guys. Bye!